Hi, welcome to our show, Tools of Integration with Miyoki. My name is Pepin van den Berg and I am with Miyoki. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and we are both natural health practitioners and we would like to explore tools in this show to relieve anxiety, fear, feelings of stuckness and emotions. And we will hope that you will join us and enjoy the show. First of all, we are going to start with an exercise. <laughs> Miyoki, I'm so curious. <laughs> what do you have in store for us? Oh dear. Um, you can use pencils with a, a big tip or a small tip. Mm -hmm. I'd like to have a big tip. And then you start balancing your brain before uh -huh. we start uh, with the actual um, stuff we wanted to discuss today. Mm -hmm. So you have both pencils in, of one pencil in every hand. Yeah. And you start inside out. In, yeah, inside out. And in the meantime, you breathe. Usually I use uh, a big paper for this, mm -hmm. but because of the camera yeah, uh, and we do it in a, in a small way, uh -huh. then you start from the inside to the outside. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you can close your eyes as well. Oops. And then you alternate. And alternate the other way. And this is actually, whoop, this is actually a very uh, short version mm -hmm. how you can Balance, oh. balance your brain. You can do your, you can do it with your eyes open uh -huh. or your eyes closed. And you can also, um, when you did this, when you are irritated or angry, mm -hmm. and you did this, you can also start <laughs> <laughs> like this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's you know it's a safe way to express anger. Yeah. Yeah. Or irritation yeah. before you attack your partner yeah. or whoever it is. <laughs> Very wise. <Yeah. laughs> so if if it's about irritation, you can use a, a, a big tip. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. A big felt tip and then. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I do feel my forehead is is more relaxed and more. It's clearing. Yeah. It's a I very calmer. simple way to clear and to let the uh, left and the right hemisphere work together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or better work together. Okay. It's about balance. Yeah. Balancing. Okay, now let's remove our first exercise. <laughs> <laughs> and today we are going to discuss Oh, uh, yeah, let me Centangle. Um, Centangle um, was invented by Rick and Maria. I don't know their last names, but you can find all their information on um, Centangle.com. And these are original Zentangle tiles. So you can put your name down and a date, for instance. And then we're going to turn them over and make a little piece of art. Yeah. It's actually line art. Line art, yeah. And we use these um, Zentangle, um, well, I've bought the original uh, pens 
and this is a zero one uh, thickness and you have a zero three and you have a pencil for the, and shadows. For the shadows and something to yeah it's not an eraser but you can use them to soften smooth, up yeah soften up the the shadows so we take our favorite pen i think i'm really going to use a zero three. Oh yes and also in dutch uh, you can use a course book so this is already an, an image of what what you can do with with tangling and what we are going to do is make all sorts of patterns within a string so and that is what i'm going to uh, to explain so you can have this pattern or very difficult patterns well i think there i'm still a, a very much a beginner <laughs> We and we are, are not instructors, so we are also, we are learning together with you. Little flower pattern. There are a lot of books about Centangle. Uh, those two are in Dutch, but they're also in English. Mm -hmm. And you can also find a lot of uh, patterns on, on the internet. Yeah. If you are interested to, to start. Yeah. Yeah. And um, when you're a bit further... I think you will find your own style and yeah. your own patterns you yeah. you keep using. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So we take our pencil. I haven't used this one. So I'm curious. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's see what I find out. <laughs> and I'm still uh, trying out different kinds of pencils from different kinds of stores. Yeah. I haven't used the original ones yet. Okay, well, original <laughs> tile and an original. Well, let's put our name down so you can get a feel for your new, <laughs> your new pen. And the date. It's a special date in Holland. Yep, Sinterklaas. Sinterklaas. So let's make a festive tangle. <laughs> I don't know what will come out. No, I have no idea. idea. <laughs> so first we put four dots in the corners. Ah, yeah. And connect these dots however you like. I think it's very nice to vary with the um, uh, with a different kind of pencils and with a different mm -hmm. kind of paper. Mm -hmm. I also like to experiment with uh, um, with the grote. The, the these are very small tiles. Yeah, but it's also nice to make bigger ones. Yeah, like yeah. A4 or A5. Yeah. And we will certainly get to that. <laughs> <laughs> make bigger projects yeah and i think it, it, it's nice and sweet and small yeah so it's nice you to start with yeah and then you you are uh, finished you don't take it that doesn't take a very long time so just half an hour and then you have your your meditative exercise because that's yep. what it is yeah it's a it's a meditation in action yeah so, um, well, we have drawn our lines, then we take our pencil, or you just use your pen, and we're going to draw a string. So, I'm going to make a string like this, and, and this. So. Want to borrow my pencil? Oh, oh. one here. Oops, excuse me. Yeah. 
and now you see all these different um, sections and we are going to fill, fill the, these sections out with a pattern of our choice. So, good luck! Yay, good Have luck! <laughs> And we, I, we both have our own technique, I think. I didn't have really that much time to practice, but... And I love these double lines, so I'll start with that one. going to make drops. I also like to play with the with the bricks pattern. Yeah. I never tried that one before. And fill the gaps with little circles. What I also always need to remember myself is to drop your jaw. You know, don't make any yeah. tension in your jaw. Yeah. <laughs> uh, leave your shoulders loose. Um, yeah. Don't forget to breathe. No. Do you listen to music or podcasts or what do you do? Mm. What do you do? Or are you just in silence? Usually silence. Mm -hmm. Except when I uh, already know the pattern. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then it's like free flow and I can listen to podcasts or music, whatever I mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. But when I try out a new pattern, then I like silence. And that's actually also where Zen Tangle stands for. Yeah. Tangle, a knot. And Zen is like quiet time. Mm -hmm. So I finished uh, this middle section, so I'm going to start on this section. Take your time, do it slow. I like the never tried something on an original tile, but I like the texture of the paper. Yeah. I usually tangle in my art journal. Yeah. <laughs> I 
then I can decide whether I want to make a big one or a small one or... Uh -huh. Yeah, you have to practice a lot. It's also like, um, if it grabs you, it's like falling in love. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to turn my tangle now to have a, a, a better angle, so you don't have to um, have your your piece of paper in the same angle all the time. So I'm, I've turned it around, and then I'll, I can make a different, my favorite pattern along the line. I love the intuition because I, 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 I don't have any plan. I just do what... Just following your pencil? Yeah. What, what, yeah. what pops up. Yeah, it's also nice to vary with uh, with the with the dots. Mm -hmm. If you have a small tip pencil, you have very small dots. Yeah, but also you can make dots with a uh, with a bigger yeah with a, uh, with a bigger point. Yeah, and you can alternate it. Oh yeah, of course. I'm still practicing with these circles. <laughs> They're still not all round as I would like them, but, <laughs> <laughs> but that's where practice time is for. Yeah. Yeah, and we've called this, this series Tools of Integration. And when you have emotional overload, it's great to, to do this. Become mindful and drawing and, yeah. And also unload on the paper. Yeah. What do I see in this section? Um, Little rocks. And I don't have any um, mathematical or geometric insight at all. <laughs> Sometimes I don't, don't understand the pattern. How do they do this? But then you practice and then everything's fine. I actually do love this paper. Yeah, all the paper sorts may uh, uh, 
may not work together well with a pencil. Uh huh. Yeah. Sometimes it gets splashy. The the ink gets um, yeah drawn into the paper. Oh, their little faces. Oh, I'll have fun with this. <laughs> <laughs> And you can also use um, acrylic paint mm -hmm. or uh, ecoline mm -hmm. or uh, water paint. Yeah. And you can use uh, like beet beetroot in curcuma and let it dry and then put your yeah. line art in it. Yeah. There's so many possibilities to, um, to make something special. Yeah. And you don't have to uh, go on an exposition or whatever, but no. make it special for yourself, for yourself and make it yeah. um, have fun with it. Yeah. And we post pictures of our drawings. <laughs> yeah. I like that too. So you can share them. Yeah. faces You can also make it very uh, geometrical. Mm -hmm. I saw someone on um, on Instagram mm -hmm. from Japan who works very, very neat and very fine mm -hmm. and very geometrical. Mm -hmm. I also found someone who's very good in making those circles. I cannot <laughs> seem to. <laughs> Yes, yes. Her, well, most of her work is with circles. Uh -huh. um, so you can use color as well. Um, but I do like black and white the best. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's fun to, to try out with all the colors and all the possibilities. Mm -hmm. I really love it, but black and white still is your favorite. Yeah, still my favorite. I think you have to move here. Uh, yeah, thank you.
it and also make little colored accents. Oh yeah. Do you think this also reflects your mood? Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Uh -huh. Also in the in the way uh, that you are drawing. Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't stopped drawing since I found out about this, the neurographic art, which we did last time. And then <laughs> you go from the one thing to another. There's so much creativity and what creativity can do for you. Mm -hmm. It's actually who you really are. Yeah. You're just expressing it without words. Yeah. I'm drawing from your inside out. Yep. Yep. See how this works. It does fade. Mm -hmm. It feels a little odd yeah. doing that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not comfortable using that thing. <laughs> I usually use, use my finger. But uh, to get a more precise effect i think you have to use it has a very difficult name which i can't remember yeah. well it works yeah i have a final piece to section to draw You can do anything you want. Oh, Excuse me.
And now some shadow. It's nice to do together. Yeah. Usually you're alone in your own home. Shadowing is to, to create depth, isn't it? Yep. Dark and light. It's dark and light and also... Where the sun comes from. Yeah. <laughs> well, I... Yeah. Yeah, I really like this paper. Yeah, me too. I'm curious to try if you can do the same thing on fabric. Yeah. If you have some way to... Textile markers. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my... <laughs> yeah. Let's see if this is this is a bigger tip. to sign it with my name I also love to experiment with dots. Yeah. Wow. There was a very big tick. And oh, this is even bigger. I think I had this one. And this is a small tip. Yeah. Which gives a different effect. Yeah. Beautiful. Let me show it again. Miyoki's Centangle. <laughs> <laughs> Very quick one. Yeah. Usually it takes me longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's a small. <laughs> Too, but mm -hmm. and I think when you start practicing the patterns, um, some will come out fluently. Yeah, and the yeah. newer ones you're learning will be more in the background or something. Yeah, yeah. Until you have all the patterns 
in your fingers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which might take a while because we're many, many, many. Yeah. So you can change the density with the amount of dots you make. Okay. Well, <laughs> this was our experiment with Saint Tangle as a tool of integration. And I hope you, you love this uh, introduction uh, from us. And uh, we'll see you next time in the next year. And Merry Christmas. And Very Happy New Year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very creative New Year. Yeah. Merry Christmas, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.